That's actually a good question. Who do I think has a more promising career, Yeet or Ken Carson? And I know this is gonna start an argument in the fan bases because every time I talk about this, but you know, I, I like these conversations. Who's got more potential, Yeet or Ken Carson? Now, you know I love my, mo my boy Ken Carson. You know I love my boy Yeet. So this is no hate on either side. However, I feel like a lot of Ken Carson's success thus far has been predicated solely on Playboy Cardi's fan base. However, Yeet, he may have only Cardi fans, or what I'm trying to say is every single person in Yeet's fan base is also a Playboy Cardi fan, because it's like a similar genre, like the dark, whole lot of reddish type beats. However, Yeet, I feel like, kind of moved into his own lane of the bell shit with the dark rage, but Ken Carson, he also had his own thing with like hyper pop. I think he even co-produced one of the songs on a whole lot of red. So no matter what, Ken and Yeet are both going up. I just feel like in Ken Carson's current sound, he's not as mainstream as Booth Boyce, he said. Like, and, and I agree, Hamp, FPS, Yeet's whole branding is more unique. Yeet's like whole come up was low key, or at least it's from from the outside looking in, because you know I I think he was associated with certain people. He did get the Drake co-sign. However, Yeet is just Yeet. But when you think of Ken Carson, you think of Opium, you think of Playboy Cardi. So if Playboy Cardi falls off eventually, like later on down the road, we don't know what's gonna happen with Ken's career. Is it going to keep progressing? Whereas Yeet, we already know, he's kind of already by himself. And that's why I think a lot of the underground rappers don't fuck with him either, because like, he he is, he, he's not really with a squad other than with Can Can. So, I think Yeet has a more promising career in the long term. I think Yeet is actually already bigger than Ken Carson. Let me look up their monthly listeners right now. Yeet has got 1.5 million monthly listeners. And Carson got, it's not showing up. Ken Carson, the 1.5 verse 500,000. So Yeet is already three, three times bigger than Ken Carson. So I think that just already explains the whole situation so yeah i just in conclusion ken's career so far predicated on cardi yeet off by himself i really am excited to see what happens in 2022 with yeet's career like is he gonna get that drake feature like we think he is uh but then again ken could get the, the cardi feature but i think he eventually could get that as well because if he can get a drake feature he can get anybody but actually you know what cardi don't give out features like that we already saw what happened with yo 88 they wanted that cardi verse and it, they didn't get it they got the whiz verse ram says ken gotta keep grinding to get his name out there for himself not cardi i think ken has it he is definitely in another level for show though yeah yeah, again, this is no disrespect to either artist because I think we all fuck with both of them. So please do not hate because this is definitely going to be a YouTube clip. Yeet can for real be a platinum artist one day. I agree. We already saw what happened with Washington Post. He was, uh, what a top. He was number nine on the 2021 albums with Up To Me. What? What? And there's levels to this shit. Yeet literally blew up this year. Ken has been grinding. He also did kind of blow up this year, but a little bit earlier than Yeet. Whereas Yeet is getting the Drake cosign. It's Drake. Now, if Ken got the the the, the Kanye cosign, that is a different question. It's like, oh shit, they both going up. So Fago got the Travis cosign, so they going up. Playboy, Playboy Cardi just simply isn't as big as Travis or Drake. You know what I mean? Drake! Drake! 
I love Yeats aesthetic and branding as much room for creativeness. However, right now I think Ken's brand is a little too plain and boring. Yeah, I mean, Ken is just, again, he's very, he's very opium. Like, I do think he has his own brand, like, own jokes to him. Like, the, like, he looks like fucking Gooba or whatever his name is from Mario. Like, the brown character that, like, is the little runt, right? And then he's got the mop head. But again, he's seen as, like, Cardi's son. Whereas Yeet, like, he's got the, the turban. He's got, uh, I don't know, the Tonka, the fucking La Twizzy. The sh his little lingo that he's got with Can Can. They've got their own separate brand where like they're they could be like top top rappers, you know, and by the way, if you were not on stream last night, we were talking to can can we are. Uh, he's linking up with us in, or with me, I guess, in Miami next year. So he says we will we shall see, but he said he's down to get on a stream. Yeah, that beanie the all the memes with Yeet being a tortilla or tortilla. But then again, Ken Carson also got the memes, but it's all going down in the Playboy Cardi subreddit. So like Ken Carson is just like one subcategory of Cardi. You feel me? Destroy lonely over Ken Carson. I've been seeing that. I don't know, bro. I think destroy lonely has got to drop more official releases because I don't like to play on, there's already so much music. I still got like three albums I gotta listen to, right? I got Polo G, I got Tory Lanez, I got one of the activists and Made in Tokyo's album. I can't, I, I don't have time to be like, sifting through all the SoundCloud exclusives and shit. Like I'll, I'll check them out on stream and whatnot, but y'all are the ones that put me on. So in that respect, y'all are the goats. I am, I am not in that. But Destroy Lonely just got to put out more official releases so I can properly compare Ken and Destroy Lonely. So right now, Destroy Lonely's got 448,000 monthly listeners. Shit. Whereas Ken Carson, as we talked about, has got 560. So Destroy Lonely is, is, uh, is coming up fast, bro. Coming up fast, plus he's got like a different sound. He's rapping on different beats as Cardi and Ken. But yeah, they're they're moving like Cardi right now. They're not dropping any official releases, but Destroy Lonely definitely got potential. I fuck with Destroy Lonely. I really do. And plus, he's he's like more on a, a rapper. On a he's got like bars. Uh it sounds like he's actually rapping, whereas Ken Carson, he's he's kind of like on that lean rap. Like he's he's on the swag rap. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like the Ken Carson's got his own like playful flow, but it's not as serious with it, which is, you know how much I like that. I, I don't give a fuck about lyrics, but Destroy Lonely, I feel like his music is more diverse, I guess. It could, uh, it could appeal to a larger audience in the longer run. Does that make any sense? So I'm not, again, I'm not, I'm not hating on Lone. I'm not hating on Ken Carson. I'm not hating on Yee. I think they're all fire artists. I fuck with all of them. Cardi method. The Cardi method only worked for Cardi. This era of artists need to switch it out. <laughs> we just talked about that with Sofago. Everybody need to stop trying to act like Cardi. Because once you start acting like Cardi, bro might turn into a, a, an artist that posts on Instagram and his fit pics like Uzi every single goddamn day. And then you're gonna have to copy that. And then he's gonna do the exact opposite. So actually, maybe this artist need to do that. Stop dropping music so that Cardi's like, oh no, they're, they're doing it exactly like I do. And then he's gonna be like, okay, now we have to drop music every single day or every single Friday because nobody else doing this shit like me. But at the same time, I don't think artists can even remain relevant as Cardi does without dropping or dropping the same frequency as he does. So I, I don't even think it's possible to copy Cardi because the problem right now with, with what Sofago is doing, in my opinion, because I, again, I just want to repeat, I don't think he fell off whatsoever. I just think that these artists need to release music to remain relevant like this th they haven't solidified their careers yet however they do have big backing so if travis scott which he probably can cactus jack 
can get Sofago on like rap caviar with his next release, whatever it is, and like blow that shit up out of the water when they finally get like a big hit. And same thing with Ken and Destroy Lonely. They can get the playlisting and whatnot because that's what like the whole point of a label anyway. So I guess they don't really need to drop all too often. How are you eating a pizza, a pizza that tastes like bubblegum? Don't even make sense. They need to realize there's always 5 million rappers waiting in line to put them aside. That is also true. That is also true. But on the other hand, when you release music too often, I feel like it saturates the market too much. I'm just playing devil's advocate here. I still do think Sofago and Destroy Lonely and Ken Carson should drop more often. But on the opposite hand, a lot of these rappers, like they be dropping McDonald's fast food ass rapper albums, just like dropping three projects a year and it starts to sound the same. You need to like take a step back sometimes, work on like different sounds, regain different influences so that you can drop the next project like Cardi does with like self-titled, the die lit, the whole lot of red. They're all on different vibes. And then that's how you truly create like a, a, a lit project. No, we're not dissing Yeet. We're not dissing Yeet. I fuck with Yeet. He knows I fuck with him. All of these underground rappers that actually, some of them probably think that I, I don't like them. Like, I'm not gonna name names, but there are some rappers who have like some biases against me, but most know that I'm on their side. You fuck Yeet too? All right, we're gonna leave it at that. We're gonna play another game of Halo. Hello people hate me for no reason. That's just, it just comes with the clout. It really does. It becomes uh, inherent with the job. If you've got haters, it means you're doing something right. Because if you have a product or you're like doing something that doesn't really catches anybody's attention, nobody's gonna hate because it's not worth hating. Like maybe they'll make some jokes here and there, but like if you got people who actually care enough to hate you, that means on the opposite side, it's like Trump, right? Trump had hella haters, but then you can see how many people love that motherfucker. 